Science 3. Science process skill that involves the use of ruler and meter stick. Do you remember the tools and science equipment you used to determine the length of objects from your previous classes in math and science? By using these tools, you'll be able to give more accurate observations when measuring the length of different objects. Today, you will learn that there is a specific science process skill that involves the use of ruler and meter stick. This skill, along with observing and predicting, is used in performing simple science activities. Are you ready to be the measurement masters? We're going to start with a fun activity called Measure the Line. I will divide you into groups, and each group will have two volunteers. I will draw a line on the green board, and your task is to measure it using a ruler. Write your answer on your notebook. The group with the most accurate measurement will be our measurement masters. Lesson Language Practice Height the distance, or gap, from the top to bottom. Millimeter, a unit of length measurement, there are 10 millimeters in 1 centimeter. 1 millimeter is the smallest measurement unit on a standard ruler. Let's try some activities. How to measure using millimeters, centimeters, and meters. Watch the video. Today we are learning about the size of millimeters, centimeters, meters. Let's start by looking at one meter. This is often measured with something called a meter stick, which is about the length of a baseball bat. Now if we were to zoom in on a meter stick, we see all of these little dashes. Now each one of those little dashes represents one centimeter. It's about the size of one U.S. dime. So now we have both meters and centimeters. We can see that a meter is a lot bigger. But if we zoom back in on all those centimeters, it can actually get even smaller. You could break each centimeter into smaller pieces. And each one of these tiny sections is called one millimeter. Now a millimeter is really small. It's about the thickness of a dime. And so now we have three measurements. Millimeters are the smallest. Then we have centimeters and meters. And here are the four types of measurements you need to know. Millimeters, centimeters, meters. Let's practice some of this together. Here we are asked, which of these is a realistic measurement of this person? 2 millimeters, 2 centimeters, 2 meters. Let's start by looking at 2 millimeters. Well, we just learned that 1 millimeter is about the thickness of a coin. So does 2 millimeters seem like the right size for a full person? No, 2 millimeters is way too small. 
How about let's look at 2 centimeters? Well, remember that 1 centimeter is about the size of a dime. Is a person the size of 2 dimes? No, that's still way too small. Let's look at 2 meters now. Remember that a meter is about the length of a baseball bat. Is a person about the size of two baseball bats? Yes, two baseball bats is a realistic measurement of a person. So the most realistic measurement of a person is two meters. Here's another problem to practice with. Which of these is a realistic measurement of this pencil? Six millimeters, six centimeters, six meters. Let's start with six millimeters. Remember that one millimeter is really tiny like this tiny dot right here. Does that seem like six millimeters would be the length of a pencil? No, that's way too small. Well, what about six centimeters? Remember, one centimeter is about the size of a dime. Does six centimeters seem like the right size for a pencil? Yes. 6 centimeters is about the length of the pencil. That's a realistic measurement. 6 meters would be too big. The only realistic measurement of a pencil is 6 centimeters. Now it's time for you to practice on your own. Which of these is a realistic measurement of this candy? Well, I know that these candies are pretty small, so 7 millimeters, that actually sounds like a realistic measurement. 7 centimeters would be 7 times the size of a dime. That's too big. As are 7 meters, those are way too big. 7 millimeters is the realistic measurement of this candy. Today you learned about the size of millimeters, centimeters, and meters. Part A Exploring Tools Used in the Science Classroom Study the following tools shown. Which do you think are the tools that can be used in determining the length of objects? Ruler and meter stick. How do you say so? We used these in measuring the lengths of objects in our previous lessons. One, as a class, observe how your teacher gets the length of a left hand using a ruler. Write the length of the hand in millimeters, m, and centimeters, cm, in the table. 2. Write the length of pencil in millimeters and centimeters in the table. 3. Write the length of textbook in millimeters and centimeters in the table. 4. Note that a ruler has two scales. The smaller scale is the centimeter, and the larger scale is the inch. In one centimeter, there are 10 millimeters. On a standard ruler, one millimeter is the smallest measurement unit. Determine the height of the shortest and tallest members of the class using a ruler and meter stick. Which is easier to use in measuring the height of your classmate, the ruler or the meter stick? Meter stick. 
How do you say so? The measurements can be easily read using meter stick compared to the ruler since the ruler is much shorter. Part C Describing Measuring In this activity, you used one of the basic science process skills, measuring. You measured objects using the units of millimeter, centimeter, and meter. Based on this activity, how would you describe measuring? Deepening understanding of the key idea. How is measuring using units of millimeters, centimeters, and meters applied at home and in school? Where do you usually see these units? At home, measuring using those units is applied in determining the length of my arms, the size of my waist, the size of my feet, my height, etc. In school, I use it in doing science, math, and art activities. Generalizations and abstractions How do you measure using the units of millimeters, centimeters, and meters? We have to choose the correct tools. Through the use of ruler and meter stick, we can measure objects and even body parts of people, and describe length, width, height using the units of millimeters, centimeters, and meters. By correctly applying the skill of measuring, it allows us to be more accurate about our observations. 